before in Casey, can you just kind of walk us through what you've done in prep for Pro Day and how you've kind of gone about your business since the season wrapped up? Yeah, it's kind of been like almost essentially like an off season. I mean, obviously you're training for a track meet at the end of the day. You got to do 5 10 5 L drill, 40s and stuff like that. But you're still training for functional movement, training for offensive line specific training as well. So I, w I approach it as the same thing as I would as in any off season, getting anabolic shape as well. That's that's always been a big part of my off season routine. So it's definitely I, would, I wouldn't change anything as far as my, from an off season. So it's, it's the off season approach. Next will be Jordan, third row to your left. Kind of going on top of that, is there anything specific you've been working on in your training or just um, trying to get better in all aspects of the game? I'd say snapping is more than, than the specific quality I wanted to add to my game. I think that more importantly, playing all five positions has, has definitely done a lot of offensive linemen in the league a, a, a world of wonder in terms of their playing ability. And so the best versatility is availability at the end of the day. So if I can play center, and adding the addition of snapping into my game has been is going to do world of wonders for me. Next would be Corey, second row on your right. Was was the snapping? Was that something you kind of did on your own, or are you hearing from people around you, our teams? Like we want to see that you can be a, a center to just give you that versatility. Well, a plethora of both. I mean, when I first came to Florida State, it was told to me that they did want me to continue to snap. And I did express to Coach Atkins that I would want to snap as well. And so having that ability to, to play center here and being able to snap during practice and whatnot, and then also hearing from teams that they would want to see me snap and play center, that's been that's definitely been like a, a, a conduit for me to want to start snapping as well. And you said you practice it. Right? Is it you snapping against the wall a hundred times a day, or how does that how does that work with you with you practicing snapping? It's everything. So going through the drills at 100% while snapping. I mean, like the only yeah. best, the only best ability for me to be out there and practice snapping is going against somebody. But obviously, you can't do that as of right now. But going through the drills 100% with with the ball in hand and snapping, understanding the calls, understanding the fronts and stuff like that, IDs and everything. That's what goes into the to the practice. The essential aspect is, is what I'm insinuating you're asking about. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that that go deeper into it than obviously just taking a towel and washing it between your legs and stuff like that. No, it takes there's a, there's a ball chain, there's, there's NFL and college balls are two different things. And so working with my, my offensive line coach in Colorado, Chase, really, a, he's a, really allowed me to kind of understand the, the techniques, what I need to do, because when you're sitting there, and you're playing at guard, it's a different set than when you're at center. Cause you, at center, you gotta, think, you gotta get to the depth of your guard. And so understanding that possibility, understanding the certain techniques that you have to do, because every single different position is different. When you're sitting at tackle, you're going against you that Pat Payton. When you're setting that guard, you're going against a dude like Daryl Jackson. When you're setting that center, like you have a head up, head up nose, you got Fabian, so you got to get depth. And so understanding that there's multiplicities with the with the sets and understanding that, that was another step to learning and practicing the center as well. Go back to Jordan on your left. Can you just talk about how important the pro day is for you tomorrow and what it's going to be like for you all the scouts? Oh yeah, it's good. it's definitely important. It's a one of, one of the most important job interviews of your life, I would say. And so just doing my, being, being me, being, being who I am and, 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 and having a God-given God ability that I have, it's, it's definitely put on show for tomorrow. And, and I appreciate God for everything that he's, that he's allowed me to do up to this point. But no, it's, it's extremely important. All right, we'll stay on the left, go second row to Jack. There's a lot of depth and variation this year on the offensive line. Did that prepare you well for the situation coming up for pro day? And just you know, a lot of guys coming in and out and stuff like that, seeing a lot, and you know, possibly do, doing different things. I'd say yes. I'd say that we were deep on the offensive line this year. I mean, being able to, to play eight, nine guys almost is, is huge for, for depth and also for saving bodies as well. Like, it's a, it's a long season. So being able to rotate and being able to, to play different positions also is, is huge. And so that's, that's exactly what you're going to have to do at the NFL level. There's not only the solidified 5% guys are playing one position in the NFL. So being able to play center, being able to play guard, being able to play the tackle is, is huge in terms of in terms of how you can benefit somebody's team and also somebody's locker room as well. So, but no, playing and being able to rotate, it's, it's coming in and out, line changing, I would, like, like, like you would say, is, is definitely, a, it, it works. Jordan? You mentioned going back to Colorado and working with your former coach. Have you been there the whole offseason kind of talking to your training a little bit and what you're working on? 
I did, yeah. I went back to Colorado. I, I went to Landau Performance. And so Landau Performance, I came in contact with them while I was at the University of Colorado. And they had, uh, I reached out to them because I was coming back there to train. And they had an office line coach there at their facility that already does their training with Chase Rullier. I didn't know him previously. I knew of him though because he played with the Washington Commanders for five to six years. And so I was, I was psyched about it. I was, I was happy about it. And, and he's done a lot of, a lot of good work for me for the amount of uh, training that I've been with him. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. We'll come back to Corey a second row on your right. You were here, I guess, for about a year. Can you just, I know this is a hard, loaded question, sum up your year at Florida State and did it go? I know the selection thing did not go how any of y'all wanted, but the season itself in your time here go exactly how you envisioned it or close to how you envisioned Tenfold. it? Tenfold. Tenfold. I mean, regardless of how it ended, I mean, when, when adversity strikes you, that, that, that's how you are as a person. you gotta, you got to be able to adapt to it. And I mean, like playing with that last game with my brothers was, was a was an extremely, extremely important part, important piece of why I came here. But as you said, with with, with coming here, there's it, it, it was everything I wanted. Being able to play at a high level football, being able to play in, in high level game when, when the stakes are so minuscule and every single mistake is taken for granted. I mean, like being able to do that and being able to be a part of something that was so special, especially to this university, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm forever in debt to. And so being able to come here and play for Coach Norvell and Coach Atkins, that was truly one of the greatest experiences that I've, that I've ever had. And that's no testament to the, to the other coaches that I've had in the past, but being here, being at Florida State is something special. And when you, put on the, when you put on the jersey, when you put on the pads, going out to practice, you don't really think about it until you're out into a game and you see 85,000 people doing the war chant. That's, you, you don't even think about it, but that, that's truly something special. And so to say that, that, that this experience was, was not what I wanted it to come out to in terms of the end, it's completely not. I got to learn so many new things, meet so many new people, and, and, and be a part of something that was truly, that's truly special. Anything else? All right, thank you, Casey. Thank you, Casey.